Hi, I'm Debbie, and welcome to my channel, Divine Destiny with Debbie. Today we're reading for December 11th, 12th, and 13th, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday for my Aries. How are you, my Aries? Now, you know that I'm using my T. Radley Valentine decks. I'm using my Angel Tarot cards for the main message. I'll pull one from my, par my Archangel Power Tarot cards. I'll also pull one from my Emily Anderson Crystal cards. Now, I've prayed, meditated, and infused all the decks, Reiki energy. Remember, this is a general reading. It may or may not resonate. Take what you like. Leave the rest, okay? Okay. Um, I'm an intuitive channeler. I open myself to higher power, whatever the message. My job? Just deliver. Next week's energy, now after the weekend, is going to be very intense. Um, we've got that new moon on the 14th. We've got... Venus, that's in Sagittarius. Venus going into um, Sagittarius, I think it's on the 15th. We've got those transits. Saturn, I think on the 17th going into Aquarius. And then the 19th, Jupiter. So, interesting stuff. It's going to be very transformational. Let's keep it positive, my Aries. Okay. Three cards are face down. The first one is reversed. That's stronger energy. Let's see what we have. The Knight of Fire, very passionate energy here. It's your energy. It's also Leo. It's also Sagittarius. But the Knights also, their underlying energy is also fire. So this is fire upon fire. This is you. This is going to be the weekend for you to go after what this is that you have been wanting. So if there, you know, if there's that opportunity for you to do it. This is where you're going to show the passion. This is where you're going to show the drive. This is where you're going to show the focus. This, again, you know, now the only thing that I'm going to tell you, though, is you've got to be a little bit careful that, you're a little, that you might come off a little bit wild. You might come off a little bit too, um, you know, I don't want to say too earnest, but just a little bit unstable with this. Because this is, this is that, you know, this, this is what I want type of energy. This is what I need. This is, I just want this so bad. Now, so if this is in any of those relationships, your work, job, career, personal, intimate, interpersonal, family, home, um, you know, you can, kind, you can kind of scare the people a little bit with this energy because it's so focused. It's so... This is what I want. I mean, the passion, the drive, the let's just go and do this. Now, that might be, that would be good for you because it will get you where you want to be. But for the people around you, it may be a little scary. So just kind of work on trying to have a little balance with this, okay? I mean, if, you need, if you're bringing people along with you, they need to buckle up for the ride because it will be an interesting ride to just be around you for the weekend. Okay, so the Knight of Fire, passionate, adventurous, self-assured, restless. A sudden event that needs immediate attention. Time is of the essence. Think things through carefully. So to think things through carefully is like kind of the, you know, it, it, you're like, it, it, it's like you're just like not necessarily thinking. You're just going after it. That fire is so strong and you being fire and this is Sagittarius and all this stuff coming up. You know, the, two, the moon in Sagittarius, Venus. This is like, this is just you going for it. Now, that could be quite good. It could be quite rewarding. It could also scare a lot of people around you, Okay. Just saying. Anyway, let's see what this card is. The Ace of Earth. So this is, a, this is okay, this could be about your job. But Ace is our new beginnings. Earth has that really solid energy, something, someone you can touch. Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, a lot of times. It could be about a home, but it could be about your money. And a lot of times it's about your money. A lot of times it's about a new adventure. It's a new job. It's a new way to make money. It's a new... You know, it, it just, it's just something that has really, um, you know, it's really grabbed your interest. It's something, again, it's this thing, whatever this is, it's something you want. It's something you want. Now, it can be something or someone, you know, but a lot of times it's something. It's something you want. And if this, if you're, you know, if you're looking, if you're going for a loan, though, please make sure 
you know, if this is a new business and you're going for a loan, make sure that you kind of take some deep breaths before you go into the place to get your loan, okay? Because like I said, you're just going to be so excited that you're almost bouncing off of the walls. That's how, that's how this is. That's what this excitement, is. I mean, this is what's so exciting about whatever this new venture is. The inflow of abundance, a promising business venture, important documents or contracts. Your next card, Six of Fire. Okay. It, you know what? Don't worry about the other people. Don't worry about them at all. In fact, they're going to be in awe of you, my Aries. They're going to be in awe of you. They're going to be going, wow, look at this. Look at Aries, because Six of Fire, this is, again, your energy, but this is you riding into victory. This is people like, you know, like throwing roses at you. This is, this is, this is, hey, let's claim this one. This, let's claim this one, okay? Victory. Good news is on its way. Public recognition or awards. Let's pull one card. Yeah, so you know what? Hey, heck with them. <laughs> you know, if they, if they can't handle Aries, move over. Okay, so let's go on and see. Oh, we got a couple cards. Po oh, my gosh. Okay, look at that. We've got all of these are archangels, and they popped out together. So get your list out. You're going to write their names down because they obviously want to help you through this. So we have the emperor. This is Archangel Uriel. Archangel Uriel helps bring you wisdom. Okay. And this, this also, the emperor is on top of his game, okay? Yes, and it is a male energy, but he's on top of his game. He's organized. He has everything he needs to do. So if you're going in for that loan, you make sure you have all your paperwork, okay? You make sure that all your I's are dotted and your T's are crossed because this is you going in with your loan, for your loan, if that's what you're going after. If you're going for a new job, it's you with your resume, it's you with all of the things, your CV, your, um, I'm kind of feeling like your presentation. It's like you have your presentation, it's, it's you know, if it's paper, you've printed it out on nice paper, you know, it, I mean, this is at the top of your game. So, stability and efficiency, taking charge of a situation, ambitious plans. The Magician, number one. So we have a one, we have an ace. New starts, new beginnings. And the Magician can make anything happen. The Magician manifests it. The Magician speaks it into existence. Now, it, you know, the Magician is not sleight of hand. Now, the Magician is also angelic. So remember, this is also, when I say speak it into existence, I'm talking about higher power there, okay? So, you know, don't, let's, let's not, you know, let's not get too big of a head ourselves, but... The magician helps to put it out there. So you can, you speak it. So you're going to have really good verbal acuity this week, this weekend also. So you can manifest the life you want. What you need will magically appear. Successful beginnings. Now this one is reversed. So a little stronger. So let's pay attention. This is Archangel Shamuel. Now. The, the 12 is kind of coming to me. Okay, remember, 4s have stability. 1s are new beginnings. The 12s have that 10 plus 2 transition with some decision making. Okay, so Archangel Samuel. So there's going to be some decisions with this. There's going to be, do I go down this path that's so exciting? Do I go down the path that maybe not as so, that's not so exciting, but maybe affords me a little more stability? So you're going to have to look at things a little bit differently. Now, you know, and this is looking at it from a different perspective, obviously, because it says perspective. But this is also kind of, you know, there's also a couple of other things. We've learned, if, that, if we've learned anything this last year, it's we don't, you know, is to expect the unexpected. And the other thing is, you know, and I like, you know, we only have one life to live. So you got to kind of look at things a little differently. So there's a better way. Pause for reflection and insight. Dare to be different. So while all of this is going on, you've got a lot of angelic energy here to help guide you, to help support you in what you're going in, in, you know, in this major, in these, in these changes, in these things. But strong Aries, you've got a heck of a lot of energy here. So let's go on. We're going to pull one crystal card. I mean, with the angels, do you really need one? So 
But let's see. Okay, this is reversed. Black tourmaline. Now, I do have this one, my black tourmaline. I love black tourmaline. It's protective. Anxiety relief, which you, with, all these, with all these high emotions you may need. Aura cleansing, self-belief. And the thing is with these, you know, the confidence level here, if you need a little bit of black tourmaline to just kind of boost that, you go right ahead and get yourself some. Keep it at your bedside. Okay. Good stuff here. I mean, I know I started a little bit like, you know, the energy, because the energy is really going to be wild for you. Yeah, but it looks like you're being carried, you know, it's like you're being carried on a wave, an angelic wave. So, my Aries, if you enjoy my readings, remember the button. Like, share, subscribe, it helps. As always, my Aries, know that you are loved. Stay safe and be blessed. Bye-bye.